Welcome to this video. The topic of this video is how to choose your ISO. In July 2019, we have a new project and it's called the LTS project and it refers to the kernel. There can be a Linux kernel, but there can also be a Linux LTS and even more. But the LTS is, stands for long term support, which is pretty interesting. Sometimes your hardware, your motherboard and cards and so on, they are not recognized by the Linux kernel. So in that respect, you can try out the Linux LTS kernel. And we've always had the scripts already available in our system, but you needed to get to a TTY. And even some of us on our hardware, we can't even boot back into something where we can actually do anything like opening a TTY and running this command. So if that's not possible, then we have your ISO. All ISOs with an LTS in the name will boot into the Linux LTS kernel. So the, there is a new ISO out there and it's created because of the need of a few people who have problems with the Linux kernel not recognizing parts of their hardware, being it Bluetooth, internet or worse, the graphical card and end up in a black screen. So that's what we've done. A new project, an LTS um, project to have the Linux LTS kernel on your ISO and on your machine, of course. All right. Um, the timing of the month is important. Maybe you already know this, but for the newer people, beginning of July is the timing to build our ISOs. First week we build and test, and the second week we provide the ISOs online. Why? Because we believe that the more people test it, the better. So we have this Arc Linux auditing group that we've launched. You can join us on Discord in the channel. And you don't need to be an official beta tester, but you can beta test anyway. At some point in time, we're going to put the second week of the month, it says here, we're going to put all our, all our ISOs online. And these days, July 2019, are 60 ISOs. You heard me correctly, 60 of them. And that's due, of course, to the fact that we have so many projects. Now, the idea or the, the reason why, of how, why we can do this is because Arch Linux slash Arch Linux feels for us like a Lego box. We just put in pieces, let scripts run, and everything just falls in line. This, there is actually just one ISO. That's this big guy here, the full ISO with Openbox i3 and XFC, that's the one. And everything is a derivative. So if uh, you're totally new, do check out websites like uh, Arch Linux B and D because there is a ton of, inf of um, information there and it explains what it's all about, why we can have so many things. So the LTS, you can find it here again. So Arch Linux and Arch Linux LTS. So this is the one you normally should take and then we try to help you with uh, how to choose your ISO in this article with a nice infographic. Never experienced hardware issues? Well, choose Linux kernel. Experiencing hardware issues? Choose Linux LTS kernel. So in a nice infographic, what you need to do? First, you try out the normal Linux kernel, which means this is the one that's the normal one. I think I've clicked on it. So let's like, take a look at the speed. So it's a super um, speed for us at Seedhost Amsterdam, Holland, Europe. So that's great. Um, and we go on and follow along because there are phases in Arch Linux. You can go to Arch Linux D ISO, which is the one. Let's go all the way down. Arch Linux D, that's this one. But if you have issues with that one, you just jump over to the other side and you get one with an LTS. So that's the only difference between left and right are three letters. But it's essential because this one is going to install the LTS kernel afterwards, All right? So that means it's gonna be less complicated already. If you don't need the LTS kernel, it's still, it's going to narrow down your choices. 
Now there are other things here as well, like the min and uh, the bear, right? So it's explained down here. You can choose here phase four, an Arch Linux B XFCE. That's the full one. That's all the applications we like. GIMP, Inkscape, three browsers, and so on. The minimal ISO is already less. One browser, one editor. And the bare ISO is fun. You, you install everything. I mean, there is nothing. The idea is to have almost no software installed, just a minimal amount. And, and we have a running system. So that's um, an overview how to choose your ISO. When you go to the download button here, you'll see that there's the same text. So people see the same thing again. So you know, all right, what to choose. And then you go at this point in time, not to SourceForge. So they're not there yet. That's for the official release. And that's the 20th in here, July. So we're uh, providing the ISO for beta testers. It's this uh, point in time, it's on uh, the seat host, as you can see here. And it's up here to, to download it. If you want to check if it's a correct download, you can check the ND5 sum down there. Okay, I think that um, settles it for me. Just uh, one last message I think is uh, best that this is a one-time thing. It's um, July and it's our last month because in August we're not gonna release anything. So it's our holiday that's coming on. That's why we've uh, put our, this effort and this amount of effort in building all these ISOs, testing all these ISOs on VirtualBox, on hardware. All our beta testers have been testing all these ISOs. So we're pretty sure it's gonna be an awesome monthly release this July version and we're gonna point back to it because like I said we're not gonna do this over and over again every month. The idea of Arch Linux B anyway is that you build it, you build it yourself. Arch Linux B project is essentially running a script that's, that's what we do, that's what you do. I mean if you want to have awesome you just run a script, run script 30. And every uh, article that's on here is exactly the same thing. It's just GNOME, but run script 30. Edit a file and run it. So that's the idea that you are going to install it, uh, well, build it yourself. If you don't like that, all this building stuff, then you always need to go back to this month. This is going to be our month of reference. Go back to July update your system and of course you have already also an, an Arch Linux system up and running. So that's it for me. Um, hope you enjoy this uh, well big release of all the ISOs and I hope I have helped a lot of people with this long-term support Linux kernel and enjoy Arch Linux, enjoy our little university. All right, cheers. <laughs>